If you're looking for easy cocktail recipes to make at home any time of the year, we have got what you need. And here to mix up two tequila cocktails for us is Mahinta brand ambassador Brad Bolt, also known as the man who made me drink Malort. <laughs> yeah. He's back. But he's he also in the building. Made Malort taste good. He so actually did. Yeah. He actually did. did. Malort taste good. It did. Yeah. In a drink. In the cocktail you made us. In a cocktail. Not straight up. Right. But so last time I saw on. you, I yeah. was with my own bar. Yes. Uh -huh. um, but today, um, I'm with Mihenta Tequila, uh, very proudly. Um, we are the world's first B Corp uh, certified agave producer. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not familiar with B Lab, uh, they look at a variety of different metrics. Uh, they kind of look at our, our corporate governance, our social and environmental impacts, and we exceed that criteria. Because you're women, I think it's just by women. By women. <laughs> Very proudly, I just learned we have a 60% uh, female workforce. Ooh, and I we love are it. Uh, female led. Yeah, All it's right. pretty awesome. All right, well, we got two thirds of the women here, here who want to drink tequila. Yes. Okay. All so. Right. What we're going to do today is just show you how easy it is to make cocktails at home. Okay. Yes. Stop overthinking it. Mm -hmm. um, I think the best thing you can do is focus on like one or th to three drinks that you really want to make really, really well, well at your mm -hmm. home. Okay. Um, make it like a nice suit. Okay. All right. right. So one is a Paloma. A ginger My Paloma. Ginger Paloma. Right. We're going to start. So you can make them in different flavors. I just learned that. So now we're making a ginger one, right? Yeah, so we're going to start with some fresh lime juice. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are going to use some I have bought ginger this. syrup. Okay. Yes, that, that ginger syrup. Ooh, Liquid got, Alchemist. Ooh, ooh, yeah, they have some good it? stuff. They got good stuff. It's good for your gut. They have I, good stuff. And you know, it's easily sourced at Benny's. Mm -hmm. All the stuff you can get at you know, Benny's, Whole Foods, mm -hmm. uh, Mariano's. Yes. Okay. Um, and they're all things that like you could keep at your house and use any time you want, yes. you know? All right, um, now we got the mahinta. What is that, I would like to use the reposado today okay. um, because I think most people think with tequila cocktails that are refreshing, you want to go Blanco. That's what I thought, right? too. I really want to show that you can use a reposado and think about it like you would okay. Okay. another cocktail. You put a little extra in that one, so that's mine. <laughs> a little extra in that one. Oh, we got, we got plenty. Two. Okay. And that's just going to top it with Q grapefruit soda. Okay. Okay. Just all like right. that. Perfect. Okay. If you want to give it a little stir. Of course. We got to get all the flavors we'll going. We'll go ahead and do that. And then while you're squeezing all your limes at home, save, save them. them. Mm -hmm. It makes for a real easy, pretty garnish. Ooh. Then we're we're going to take some fresh mint. Spank it, baby. Spank, spank, spank it. Spank your mint. If you got a home garden. Grab it from there. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of you likes rosemary. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, look at mm -hmm. this. You might have that in your garden. Okay. So ah, here's a couple of these. Okay. So Do you want mint or rosemary? Lungs. I take the rosemary. Okay. Mint. We can mm -hmm. always make the other ones later. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm. Mm. Oh, you can never go wrong with a Paloma. Mm. Does that work for you? Yes, it that is does. so good. Okay, so this other one is a passion fruit margarita. Everyone loves a margarita. Yes. Uh -huh. And this is intriguing, though, with your already have your garnish in there. Yes. So. When you're having a party, having guests over, yeah. I really try to tell people, make sure that you have your garnishes ready. Oh, that's right? so yeah. smart. That, yes. Don't try to do things a la minute, as mm -hmm. we kind of call it in a bar. Mm -hmm. So just have it ready to go. Everyone can dehydrate stuff in your oven at low temp, or if you have a dehydrator, air fryer, mm -hmm. Go for it. Oh, you oh, do the air fryer. You put an air fryer. I never heard that. This is my friend said I haven't tried it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we put some I more lime juice in there. So we're gonna start this one with some fresh lime, like you traditionally would with margarita. Mm -hmm. And we'll that throw a little pineapple juice in there. Pineapple. Because pineapple and passion fruit always goes good. Mm -hmm. um, and frost up the drink. So mm -hmm. is that a liqueur? This is. This is a chinola passion fruit liqueur. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. delicious. Oh, wow. I'm gonna hire you to come to my party, right? man. On Ooh, a day like today when it's 180 degrees outside? I know. This is perfect. I feel bad for Starbucks. Well, mm. <laughs> yeah, right? They, uh, yeah. they dropped their uh, pumpkin spice latte today. Yeah, oh, not a good day. Too bad for them. Really terrible it's day. A, it's Chicago a good mijente that. day. Mm -hmm. It is, so go get a margarita somewhere. Okay, so now this one you are using the Blanco, though. This one we are gonna use the Blanco. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, really nice, natural vanilla notes. Uh, we are confirmed additive free. Yes. Um, so pretty that's much part of that B rating, right? It is not. Oh, it's not. Sorry. It is not. No, okay. that's okay. Um, oh, so what's that? These little Angostura bitters. Oh. Just a couple drops. In the margarita? In mm -hmm. the margarita. Mm. So 
Yeah, all that simply means we're not adding artificial sweeteners, um, vanilla, anything alike. It's literally farm to bottle. Farm mm -hmm. to bottle, okay. And I know there's not a lot that do that, correct? There are not. Okay. There That's why not. I thought that was a special rating, but I was I had it wrong in my head. Can you give this a shake? I love it. And in, 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 uh, so we were, we were saying with the garnish here, this is a um, pineapple with some... Yes, so this is uh, just simply dehydrated pineapple with mm. chili and salt. I bought this at Whole Foods. I okay. love that. Um, they're great if you want to save time. Yeah, yeah. Um, got a bunch of people you don't want to take the time to dehydrate. Uh -huh. um, that way. Mm -hmm. I like just dropping it in so that as the drink settles on it, you're mm -hmm. kind of incorporating some of that chili and salt into the drink. Ooh. Without getting too much of it. And it rehydrates yeah. a bit, right? And so you'll be able to... Chew it on at the end. Chew Ooh. it on at the end, have a nice little snack. Um, and again, too, make these for a party. Your kids can have them. Without right, the it's a pretty healthy snack. Yeah. I just mean oh, the pineapple. I was like, like the tequila. All I was like, these tequila. What are you talking about? Please, <laughs> we don't make a, we don't make a zero zero <laughs> version yet. What's wrong with me this week? Uh, yeah. But it's, the fruits, you know. Yeah, the fruit for fruit sure. Things if your kids mm -hmm. like spicy. Mm -hmm. I get spicy. Make a big batch of it. Mmm, mmm, that is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, that's perfect. All right, mi gente tequila. You want to check them out on the website, mihenta-tequila.com. Check out the social media handles as well. There's some more great drink ideas on there. Thank All you right. so much Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. This is fantastic. All right.